Thank you very much for joining us today, everyone. It is 5 p.m. Eastern Time, and uh, you, here, you are here to attend our introduction to the ProView and ProTex Max great new features. This is going to talk about some new features that we recently implemented on all of our ProView panel meters and our ProTex Max explosion proof products, uh, as well as cover a brief overview of the ProView family as a reminder about all of the features and functionality of that line, and then touch on, at the end, a few new products as well and new features on our website. Just a few reminders. Uh, everyone here today is in listen-only mode. If you'd like to type in some questions or have a conversation, uh, we do have someone who we'll see in a minute working the chat, so please use the chat features in the lower left of your screen to ask any questions you may have. We'll either address them in the chat, address them live, or do some follow-up with you later on it. Uh, in addition, this webinar is being recorded, and a copy of it will be getting sent out to uh, all registrants, including those of you who showed up here today. Uh, lastly, I'll ask that there is a survey on the exit uh, when you leave the webinar, and I would appreciate it if all of you would just take a moment and let us know how we're doing here and what other ideas you may have to help us improve these webinars in the future or provide you with more content that you might be interested in. With all that being said, uh, why don't we move on and get this presentation started. So I'm Joe Ryan. I'm a VP of Sales and Marketing here at Precision Digital, and I'll be the main presenter here today. Hugo Ventura is a Business Development Specialist, and he is going to be the one manning the chat. So those of you who may start up conversations there, you'll be talking with Hugo, and I'm sure that he'll either answer all your questions or at least make note of them for us to address later if they're a little too complicated to answer here. Uh, there will be two Q&A sessions, one in the middle and one at the end, so feel free to throw out any questions on things that are complicated or that you didn't quite get. Before we get started, I've got a quick poll for the audience just to get a sense of where you are. We're always trying to figure out what the best times are for people in different parts of the country. So if you could take a moment and let us know what part of the U.S. or Canada you're, you're located in, we would certainly appreciate that. And I'll give a moment for everyone's answers to come in. Well, thank you very much to everyone who answered this. Uh, those of you who didn't, hopefully we can get you on some other poll questions. So we'll share these results. Oh, looks like we've got a few more people coming in. So thank you, the, the late responders, for chiming in with that. And it looks like most of you are located in the central U.S. Uh, this webinar is scheduled to be around an hour, and I think we'll definitely have you out of here by 5 o'clock your time. And one more question before we get started. Uh, what is your industry? Are you an industrial distributor, or do you work primarily as a systems integrator or as an end user in one of these other industries? This will help us tailor the presentation to whoever the majority of the audience is, though it should benefit everyone regardless of what your response is. And once again, I'll give you a minute to get those answers in. And I do appreciate the high level of uh, interaction with that last poll. Hopefully we'll see it here as well. All right, and let's see what we've got. It uh, looks like the vast majority of you here are industrial distributors. So thank you very much to uh, those of you who clicked on petrochemical. Um, but we'll may, we may address a few uh, distributor-related issues while we're going through here because there are a lot of you on today. So before I can get into the new features, it's worth spending a moment just to discuss what is the ProView series that these new features apply to. Well, the ProView series is a full line of 1 8 DIN digital panel meters and controllers. You can see pictures of them here. They're your standard 1 8 DIN cutout panel meter. Uh, with a NEMA 4X IP65 rated front, uh, which makes it great for rugged industrial applications, being installed outdoors, places where you're going to have washdowns, or even just dusty, dirty environments. The ProView series is unique amongst the Precision Digital Panel Meter line because it features a dual line display where each display has six super bright LEDs on it. So as you can see in the picture, you've got the meter on the right with six digits on each one of its two line display lines. And then on the right, you've got our feet and inches meter, 
which also has six digits on the top row, and it can have six digits uh, on the bottom row. So in this case, the digits on the top are specifically for feet, inches, and fractions of an inch. There are models of the produce that are available for almost any application. Here you see our general process meter as well as our feet and inches meter. However, there are rate totalizers, batch controllers, dual input meters, which include math functions if you have to do ratio or uh, you want to be able to do some addition or subtraction, multiplication, et cetera. We even have high voltage models. But we'll take a little look at those later just to briefly review them. So I'm not going to get too in-depth here. And as these features also apply to the Protex Max, what's a Protex Max? Well, the Protex Max is a full line of FM, CSA, ATEX, and IEC approved explosion proof meters and controllers. These feature a very rugged, modern looking enclosure that's designed to stand up to the harshest industrial conditions. It's an epoxy coated, die cast aluminum enclosure, so it will take a beating, which makes it actually quite popular even in safe areas where someone just wants a really rugged field-mounted device. They don't want to go with a, a plastic enclosure or something that might get banged up. This gives you the entire package. It also features safe touch programming buttons so that you can use the infrared buttons that you see there on the front uh, that are labeled menu F3, F1, F2, and access those buttons through the glass without removing the cover so that you can actually operate this in safe in hazardous areas. The core of this product is the ProView. So it's available in all of the same uh, variety as the ProView meters that we just talked about. It has many of the same features. You can get four relays, you can get four 20 outs, you have power supplies to run your loops. All of those ProView features are also present on the Protex Max. Now, not only is the ProView now available in the Protex Max variety, but we also have a ProView-based device in our new Helios product, and that is that large display field mount device you see on the left there. This is a 1.8-inch display for each of the lines, and it's also, like the Protex Max, available in all the varieties that the ProView is. So you have a large display field mount version of a feet and inches meter or a process indicator or a rate totalizer. And just like the Protex Max, it can have all the same outputs of the ProView. The 4 to 20 milliamp output, so up to four relays, the 24 volt supplies. It also has all of the new features we're about to talk about. You'll note the ordering example in the lower right of your screen that explains that if you were, for example, looking for a pulse input patch controller, you've got our PD2 6310, that would be your large display. You've got your PD-86310, that would be your explosion-proof variety, and then your basic PD-6310, which is your panel mount. So not only are these products very similar in, in their function, but even the model numbers are similar. So if you get to know one, you'll know them all. So the first new feature we want to talk about is the improved super bright LEDs on all ProView and Protex Maxes. The LEDs were already bright on the product, but we've made significant improvement to make them even brighter. So you're going to have an even easier time seeing it in smoke, fog, when there's layers of dust built up, uh, or when you're outdoors when using the Sunbright display. Both the regular quote unquote R models of ProView are brighter, as well as the H Sunbright readable models. So our new Sunbright readable ProView is even brighter than previously you will now have no problem seeing this outdoors, even in the harshest direct sunlight. Models started shipping with these new features in September. So were you to order one today, you would be guaranteed to get these new features. There's been no cost change. There's been no model number changes. It's actually fairly difficult to photograph the brighter displays accurately because they are so bright. And it changes their color a little bit when you see them in the camera lens. But we tried to give you a view of what the, the original Sunbright display versus the new Sunbright display looked like. And you can see that the one on the left is a little bit dim and darker, and the one on the right is very bright and almost glows. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the Sunbright display models are still recommended for outdoor use. While our standard models are brighter, if you're going to put it outdoors where it's going to have direct sunlight on it, you should still get a Sunbright model. And as a reminder, those Sunbright models are our H models, 
We call it that because there's an H in that second to last part number digit. And there's a $100 adder between our standard model and our super bright sun bright, display, sun bright displays. The second new feature that we've added, and this is present on the Helios, the Protex Max, and the ProView, is USB programming using PC software. All of, our, all of these meters now ship with a standard micro to standard USB-A cable. That's the same kind of cable that you would use to plug your cell phone into your computer. Uh, almost every cell phone now, uh, every Android cell phone now, ships with a standard USB to micro USB cable. But we give you one anyway in the box, should you need others, of course, they're very easy to find. And it isn't that USB cable, we have a connection right on the panel meter for that USB uh, connection. You no longer need any kind of serial adapter or module that connects up to the back of the meter. You can plug directly from your laptop into the panel meter. And when you connect up to the panel meter, it functions uh, very similar to a USB memory stick. So we have put the programming software right on the panel meter. You don't even need to download anything from the Internet. So you could use this out in the field where you don't have a you, uh, internet connection and still have access to the most recent version of the software designed to program your ProView meter. We wanted to make this even easier for people to use, especially out in the field. And so the USB connection, when you plug it into the meter, will actually power up the display of your meter. So to see the changes you're making, for example, the one here being programmed with level in the bottom display, you don't even need to have a power supply connection for that. The power off of the USB cable is enough to light up the product. You wouldn't do this, of course, for an actual field installation. If you're going to be using the power supplies, the relays, the 4 20 million bouts, and you want that super bright display, you will want to provide power as you would normally. But for the purposes of programming it in the field, on a desk, at the engineering bench, this is a great way just to power it up and see the changes you're making live. And so again, what you end up getting is a panel meter and a USB cable in a box that requires no internet connection in order to access the software, gives you the ability to program your meter up very quickly, and we even provide you with the USB cable. It really is Precision Digital's easiest meter to program yet. So what does MeterView Pro actually let you do, and why do you have an interest in getting it on your panel meter? Well, MeterView Pro allows you to program all of your meter settings from a PC. The nice part about doing that is that you get a really user-friendly interface that spells things out very clearly, gives you drop-downs and fields where you can type in with the numbers on the keyboard, rather than trying to set it up through the front panel and understanding all the seven-segment menus. You can see in the example we've got here, you can actually read that I'm programming a 60-60 dual input meter. I can select whether I want my channel A or channel B to be current or voltage. I've got a display category, which allows me to set up what's being shown on my main display or my small display. So it's much easier to understand how you're doing this setup. And because it's so easy to get to now, we think that a lot of you will have uh, a good time dealing with this software, programming up the meters, and just find it a little... Uh, a lot more of a convenient option than it was previously. Even though you don't need a USB connector or a USB adapter to connect to the meter for programming, we do have some other serial adapters that are worth noting that are still valuable for the ProView line. There's our PDA 1232 ProView RS-232 serial adapter. And that would be used if you want to connect up to MeterView or connect up to use the Modbus features of the product through an RS-232 connection, the standard COM port on your computer. And then we've also got a PDA-1485, which is an RS-485 serial adapter, if you want to put your ProView onto an RS-485 bus. Those two serial adapters would have to mount somewhere. And so we have our PDA-1002 DIN rail mounting kit for those adapters. Each one of those kits can mount two modules. So if you also have a a four relay expansion module to get up to eight relays, or you have a dual input meter where you want three, four to 20 million pouts, you can also mount it with the same kit. 
And though they're not specifically related to the ProView or the Protex Max or the Helios, we do have a line of serial converters that allow you to convert 232 to 45 or 45 to USB so you, you can bring it right into your, your laptop or your desktop computer through a USB connection. So we have those serial adapters available to help you complete your setup uh, if you have need for those types of converters. And before we get to the question section, uh, I just have a question about what kind of applications do you see out there? What is your specialty? Uh, do you primarily work in one area where you sell a lot of level indicators or uh, level transmitters, or, or do you see um, pump control as the primary offering for these kinds of products? All right, so I'd just like to get an idea of what the audience is doing with these, and I can focus on that perhaps a little later when we do a, a very brief overview of the ProView line. I'll give you one more minute for people to answer. All right, well, thank you very much. Let's see what we have here. And uh, it looks like most of you are into flow, although there is also a lot of level monitoring going on. So I'll make sure that we touch on all of the flow and level specific products a little bit more in depth uh, later in the presentation. Uh, moving on to questions, it looks like we only have one question currently, and it is about the Helios. Um, now, I will grant you I did not go very far in depth into that product line yet, uh, but the Helios is a large display plastic enclosure field mount product. Uh, the question is about approvals on the Helios, and I just want to make it clear that uh, the Helios doesn't have any hazardous area approvals, but it is a great product for tank side level indication or uh, mounting up high above flow lines where you want someone to be able to see the display value from up to 100 feet away. It is a plastic enclosure, but it is IP65, so though it doesn't have hazardous area approvals, it's a great choice for uh, really any kind of application where you need a large rugged display. And again, it does have all the features of the ProView. If you need a hazardous area product with these features, then I would look at the Protex Max. It doesn't have a large display, but it carries every explosion proof approval you could want because it's got FM, CSA, ATEX, and IEC. Uh, one thing I will also mention is uh, the Helios is only available, like the Protex Max, with some bright readable displays. So every Helios or Protex Max you get will be great for outdoor mounting, even in direct sunlight. Whereas with the panel meters, that's where you have the sunlight readable option. So thank you for the question about the Helios. Uh, we'll certainly be in touch about that, I am sure, in upcoming months, as that is a new product for us, and we'll continue to promote it and get word out about it. Oh, and uh, it looks like we have one more question that's come in, which is, uh, PC compatibility, it's a question about uh, MeterView Pro. Uh, only when connecting USB or can Apple Mac computer be used as well? Uh, unfortunately, MeterView Pro is only workable with PCs. We do not have an Apple version of that software. Now that having been said, uh, I won't claim to be an expert on Macs. It's possible that there's a, an emulator or a, co a compatibility mode you could run in. But the software is designed to work with a PC only. Thank you for the question, though. It's good to know there are people out there in the industrial world using Max. So now that we have an idea of what these new features are, it's good to understand the meters that they go with. And so we're going to take a brief overview of what the ProView series is. There are a lot of shared features amongst the ProView line, so we're not going to get in depth at every single one of them, uh, talking about them in each of the variety. This is really just designed to help you understand the basic input types and functions of the ProViews that are available. The PD6000 is just standard ProView. It's your basic process meter. It accepts analog, current, and voltage inputs, and it's ideal for displaying, for displaying essentially any kind of process variable you've got that's coming out as either a voltage signal or a 4 to 20 milliamp. You can scale it up to be whatever you want it to display, and then you have your outputs based on that. It's got pump alternation features for level control, which is great for all of you who mentioned that you were doing uh, level monitoring, where you can share the load between uh, two, three, or four pumps. And there's signal in input conditioning as well, which are great for open channel flow uh, calculations, as well as irregularly shaped tanks. 
not only do we have 32 point linearization, but we have a round horizontal tank feature that allows you to simply enter in the length and the height of the tank, and then it does the calculations for you. So in some of these cases, you won't even need the 32 point linearization. The second display line can be used to show units, as it is here, it's showing uh, gallons on line two. Or you can even scale it to be another process variable. So if you were using this for tank monitoring, you could show the height of product in the tank, but then you could also scale that same signal from your level transmitter to be volume and display it on the lower line. So however your operators want to see the data, the probe you can display it for. We've already seen a picture of this one before. This is our PD6001. It shares all the same great level features of our PD6000, including the dual scale on the display, but it displays specifically in feet and inches. Tanks are specified in feet and inches, so that's the way a lot of operators relate to them. And this way you can clearly see that it's 38 feet, 10 inches, and 15 sixteenths. That means a lot more to someone than telling them it's 38.842 feet. They have an instant understanding of feet and inches. For those of you who mentioned flow, the PD6200 and the PD6300 at your basic meter, these are available with input, uh, analog inputs from 4 to 20 milliamp output preamps on flow meters, for example, uh, or taking in direct pulse inputs from flow meters. Because of the two line display, we can display your flow rate and your total at the same time. Though it's also got grand total calculations, which it could display, and it has a non-resettable total option for applications where you do not want the users to be able to reset that total to zero, which is often used in regulatory environments. One of the great features about the pulse input models is because they share all of the common ProView outputs, you can get up to four relays and a four to 20 milliamp output. So you can use this to convert your pulse input from a flow meter into a 4 to 20 out that now can run the distance to your control room. And you get the local display to show that information from your flow meter wherever the operator wants it. The 6060, 6262, and 6363 are our dual input meters. The 6060 is our dual input process meter, the counterpart to 6000. The 6262, our analog input dual meter, so it has two 420 million inputs, the counterpart to the 6200 flow rate totalizer. And then obviously the 6363 is the dual input version of our 6300, which is the pulse input rate totalizer. For the rate totalizer versions of this product, you do have dual rates and dual totals and dual grand totals. And because of dual input product, you can do some math on all those channels, such as addition or difference or ratio calculations. You want to know the ratio between two flows, or you want to add up two lines. We also have a line of batch controllers, both analog and pulse inputs. You'll see that we even changed the button labeling on the front of the device, so now we have start, batch, and stop. So it's very easy for someone to understand which button you push in order to start it, which button you push to change a preset. You're not going to have to have a post-it note posted next to this to tell you that F3 is your stop or F1 is your start. It tells you right on the display out of the box. Because it has the standard set of ProView outputs, you get up to four relays available, and you can actually do batching with up to all four relays. So if you wanted to have a main line and a trickle valve, you could use two relays to control that to improve your accuracy. Should someone want to use a uh, remote control station, for example, if they had the PD80 explosion proof version of this product, there are onboard digital inputs you can use uh, to bring in those contacts from external control stations. It's got automatic overflow protection where it senses any over or underflow from the last batch and makes corrections in order to make the next batch more accurate, which is great if your valves start to get sticky or if your flow meter isn't located directly at the end of the line. And this product is available with NTEP weights and measures approvals. So if you have some custody transfer applications, both the panel meter and the explosion proof device are both available with NTAP approvals for weights and measures. Looking at a few different types of inputs beyond 420s, pulses, and voltage, we have our strain gauge product, our PD6100. It accepts inputs from a load cell or a millivolt input, 
And for scaling up, for scale applications where you're going to have multiple load cells, we can actually connect up to 12 load cells here. We have an auto zero feature, which is designed to eliminate drift over time. But we also have manual pair and zero features uh, that people who work with scales in the field are just used to seeing. So it's a great front end display for any kind of a scale or weighting application. Much like our PD6000, this also has that dual scale capability. So you could take that input from your load cell and you could display it, for example, as both weight and volume. You have weight on the top line, volume on the bottom line, for example. The PD6400 is our high voltage and high current input meter. It takes in both a voltage and a current. And by high voltage and high current, we mean up to 300 volts and 5 amps. The 5 amps, of course, is often used with a current transformer, so you can bring in even higher voltages through the CT. The dual line display lets you show both inputs. And we've got some math functions in there as well, so if you wanted to show a parent power, a uh, basic multiplication feature, uh, you could show a parent power, you could show voltage, you could show your current, and you could even have the display cycle through all those values. Again, you've got the standard ProView outputs, so any one of those variables can be retransmitted as a 4 to 20 million signal. And this product, as well as our dual input products, can actually have up to three 4 to 20 million outputs. So I could retransmit my voltage, my current, and my power. For temperature applications, we have our PD7000. That accepts a wide range of thermocouples and RTDs with a, re a very good resolution up to 0.1 degree. And it can actually average up to 10 RTD sensors if you've got a suite of RTDs measuring one process. One of the nice features of, of uh, having the six digits is that if you can go with one degree of resolution, as you can see in this picture, you can display your temperature unit right in line with your temperature, which frees up the bottom line to label it so that people know what it is they're looking at. And the last ones in the line here are our Modbus products, our line of Modbus scanners. As scanners, they can be Modbus masters, they can be Modbus slaves, where a device simply writes to them something to display, or they can be snoopers or packet sniffers. As a snooper, it sits on the RS-485 line and listens for communication back and forth between two other devices. So for example, if I had a, already had a Modbus master in my control room, and I have a Modbus multivariable level transmitter in the field, the snooper can simply sit on that line and listen for the communication and display all the information that the control room Modbus master is pulling without either of the other two devices having to be programmed. As a Modbus master, it can pull and display up to 16 process variables. So if I had five tanks and each tank has a multivariable level transmitter on it showing you top level, interface level, and temperature, I can show all of that information on the same panel meter, having it cycle through those 15 variables. Much like our dual input meters, there's math functions you can perform on those inputs. So if you wanted to do ratio, multiplication, addition, subtraction, et cetera, on those Modbus registers, you can. And there is a feet and inches display model available, specifically for tank applications like the one I just described, where you're using the Modbus multivariable level transmitters. So now I've got a couple of application photos just to give you an idea of what these look like installed in the field. Uh, here we've got a device set up for flow control. Uh, what sort of jumps out of the picture is the fact that it's very important. This is a NEMA 4X IP65 front device. That NEMA 4X protection is going to keep all that dust build up from getting inside the box. The box, by the way, is also available from Precision Digital if you need enclosures for these products that come with a thin cutout. One of the nice things about this is though the total is currently zero, we can display flow rate and total simultaneously on the display. And we accept most pulse inputs. So if you've got a flow meter, chances are we'll take its input. You won't need to spend the money on the preamp, for example, to get a 4 to 20 million output. All pro views come with a 24 volt uh, DC power supply, which is actually selectable between 5, 10, and 24 volts depending on what the flow meter in this application required. 
Here's a picture of some meters doing some tank level monitoring. Uh, these are installed outdoors, so once again that NEMA 4X front is very important to protect it from rain. They have the Sunbright display on them, so they'll be visible even in direct sunlight. And they all happen to be our feet and inches displays. So again, someone can look at 21 feet, 1 inch, and 1 16th and know instantly what the level is in their tank. They don't have to see something in hundreds of inches or thousands of inches or in three decimal points of feet. You can dual scale from a single transmitter. That's what we talked about where you could show uh, height and volume. And you can see that that's exactly what they're doing here. They're showing you the height in the upper display, and then they're showing you another process variable, uh, scale, the same 4 to 20 signal, but a different scale unit of that 4 to 20 signal in the lower display. And it was good that they all come with 24 volt supply because that's what they're actually using to power up the level transmitters in this case. This is a wastewater treatment plant application for coagulant monitoring. Again, that NEMA 4X front is valuable because they need to be able to wash these down and it is a wet environment. What this particular customer likes is that the ProView is a very versatile meter that they can use in lots of applications throughout their plant. So once they've learned how to use this meter, they could get something almost identical for a temperature input somewhere else or for a level indicator somewhere else. Because they are so similar, it's a way to only learn one product and apply that to all of your applications. They actually got these products with an additional 24 volt supply, so a total of two. That way they can use one of them to power up their 4 to 20 input in the transmitter, and they can use one of them to power their 4 to 20 output going back to the control room. So they've got two isolated 24 volt supplies running each of their loops. And lastly, this is an example showing our Protex Mac explosion proof product. In this case, it's a rail car filling batch control application. Uh, the environment requires that it be explosion proof in NEMA 4X. It's outdoors and in a hazardous area. And they can use the safe touch through window buttons to control the batch run, stop, and preset without having to remove the cover and without the need for a, a costly external button station. In this case, they're using all four relays of the product. Two of them are being used for batch control, and two of them are being used for alarms. And every Protex Max comes with the Sunbright display. So you're going to be able to see that display even in direct sunlight. A few other uh, interesting new features and, and uh, offerings we've got is that our website now has 2D and 3D CAD files available for all of the products we've seen here today, as well as our enclosures and most accessories. We have those files available as both IGES files, which is a generic 3D file format, and a SOLIDWORKS part. So if you want to put our panel meters directly into the panels you're developing, you can just go download those today from predig.com. As many of you in the audience are distributors, it's worth noting that we now have online distributor discounting. This allows you to register with our web store and to give your account the ability to see your pricing and your discounting on all the products as they appear on the website. You can even place your orders through the web store so you can be 100% sure of what you're getting, entering in your PO numbers, getting your appropriate terms, etc. Um, for those of you who are, are on the purchasing side of things or inside sales, it's great to be able to place the orders like that. For those of you who are outside sales or inside sales, the ability to see your discounting, what you know, how much you've got to play with when you're out there talking to a customer. Anyone who's interested in doing that can either go to our website today and sign up with an account, or they can contact uh, myself or Hugo for more information. And before we get to our last question session, I've got one more question for you, which is would you like us to contact you for any additional training on anything that you've seen here today? Um, if you click yes, then we'll have one of our friendly salespeople give you a call and find out what we can do to help you out with some additional training. And I'll just give you one minute for everyone to Click on that. Now, those of you who do not answer, I will take it as a no. So don't worry about that. But if you answer yes, then I'd be happy to talk with you about anything you saw here that was of interest. All right. Well, thank you very much. And that brings us to our last Q&A. Uh, I've got uh, what looks like two questions here. Uh, thank you, David, for submitting those. Uh, the first is, do you have standard flume and weir formulas for flow calculations? 
we do have the ability to work with Weir, Weir and Flumes. Uh, we don't have the, uh, the value that you enter in, that, that, uh, the Weir and Flume constant there, uh, built into the product. But if you have that number from your Weir and Flume book or from the manufacturer, uh, we can certainly help you figure out how to enter that into the product. Um, I'm not going to say that it's, it's exactly a uh, customized Weir and Flume entry, but we do have a Premal exponent that should work with most of the things that you're talking about. Uh, you also asked about square root extraction for differential pressure flow elements. Uh, we do have square root extraction built into the product, and that's simply something you can just select. You don't have to uh, enter in anything there. So those are part of the um, calculations we were talking about when we mentioned how they do uh, signal input processing, 32-point linearization, square root extraction, programmable exponent, as well as uh, the round horizontal peg feature. And with that, I'd just like to let you know that we are always open to hearing from you. Uh, we love hearing your ideas on what kind of products you're interested in, what kind of educational materials you might like to see. Uh, or what kind of additional training would be helpful to you. So if you've got any kinds of input for us or product questions, questions about the industry, uh, looking for a solution to something you struggle with when dealing with our devices or any device, please feel free to reach out to us. It's what we do and it's how we find out what people are interested in in order to provide these webinars. Hopefully today was helpful for you. And you'll keep us in mind the next time you have a need for digital panel meters, hazardous area instruments, uh, loop-powered two-wire meters, large display meters, or any kind of display or controller. If you have an application you want to talk to us or you think you might need to get in touch with us in the future, I'll leave this information up here for a few minutes so you can take it down. And it gives you all sorts of ways you can contact us via email, phone number, or our website. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for attending. Uh, again, I'll remind you there is a survey when you leave the webinar, and I would appreciate if you fill that out. And I hope that all of you have a great night. Thank you very much.